The writ has been dropped and Canadians will be heading to the polls on September 20th. In the riding of Nepean, Liberal incumbent MP Chandra Arya is trying to seek a third term in office. Arya says he has three objectives, saying he's elected again. I entered politics with three objectives. My personal objectives, which I was very much concerned for a long time, like average Canadian citizen. The first was affordable housing. I was on a board of an affordable housing corporation before I entered politics. The second is retirement security. There are 11 million working Canadians who don't have workplace pension plan. Just imagine 11 million working Canadians when they retire, they, many of them will directly retire into poverty. So my second objective was that we should have secure retirement. And the third, much more important, is that I want to make sure, I want to ensure that Canada is, continues to be competitive and successful in the knowledge-based economy so that the standard of living we enjoy today is available to our children and grandchildren. Those three objectives I entered. Locally, Arya wants to ensure communities like Barhaven are welcoming for new businesses and says he knows many companies which are interested in setting up shop in the community but can't due to a lack of office space. He says we are the victim of our own success and work needs to continue with all levels of government to ensure proper infrastructure upgrades are made. You know, sometimes I feel that we are the victims of our success because we can't get a retail space here. You know, for me to get one office space for the campaign, this is the second time it has been a struggle to get an office space. You know, two software companies I personally know, one was in Bell's Corner, he had 80 people working, he wanted to take the headphone to 200. He wanted to open the Nippian. He said, Chandra, Bell's Corner or Barhaven, show me. I connected him to landlords, but we could not get space. Another uh, company based in the Stonebridge, they wanted to have a 20, they were around eight people working from a home, but they wanted to make it to 20, we could not get. Arya is up against Matt Trimstra, who is running for the Conservative Party in Nepean. Trimstra says he felt the need to run after seeing the impact COVID-19 had on individuals' mental health, including his own. Um, I saw firsthand how the pandemic affected their mental health, my mental health, and I really think it's time that uh, government really invested in how we deliver mental health in this country. So that's kind of one of the big reasons I'm running. Uh, number two, after six years of liberal representation in Nepean, I just think it's time for a fresh voice. I think the cost of living has gone up and up, and I really think we need a strong champion, um, a strong MP to represent Nepean families in Parliament. And third, I just think that the Conservative plan to secure our future uh, is exactly what Nepean needs. Uh, securing more jobs, uh, investing in mental health, uh, more anti-corruption laws, uh, making sure our country is ready for the next pandemic, and uh, making sure that we bring the deficit under control. Trimstra says he agrees with how the Liberal government initially handled the pandemic and said Conservatives would have done the same. But now as vaccine numbers ramp up and the economy starts to rebuild, he wants to see more done to help encourage people to re-enter the workforce. What I have a problem with is that the Liberals tried to give themselves huge spending powers uh, that they could get through, you know, Parliament, you know, with very little veto power. And I'm happy that at the 11th hour, the Conservatives stepped in and kind of curbed a lot of that spending power. And I have a concern with how much money they've spent and that they continue to spend money. Uh, if the economy is opening up, and the small businesses are going back to work, then we need to encourage uh, and help people work and get back to work. So that's what we need to be doing now, not extending uh, you know, the emergency benefits, but really investing in getting people back to work. And the New Democrats have chosen Sean Devine as their candidate in Nepean. Devine ran for the seat during the 2015 election as no stranger in the community. Following the tornadoes which hit Arlington Woods and other areas in 2019, Devine spearheaded a movement to rebuild the community. His work led the father of four to winning the United Way Community Builders of the Year Award and the Mayor's City Builders Award. It's work like this which Devine says he is most passionate about and now wants to serve his community in an even bigger way. When a controversial snap election was called, Devine said he wanted to ensure the New Democrats had proper representation in Nepean. I'm also running because I do believe that the NDP's values and commitments are exactly what's needed in Canada right now. But 
I'm also running because I think that people should be electing uh, the person and not just the party. And based on the work that I've done in my community over the past six years and based on the impact that I think I've had and the relationships that I've built, I believe that I could be the kind of MP that all of Nepean's communities, no matter their politics, could benefit from. Devine says if elected, he will be a politician who reaches out to the public to see what issues they are most passionate about. But when it comes to his own agenda, the Arlington Woods resident says he is passionate about climate change, a file Devine says the Trudeau Liberals have frequently talked about while doing little action. It is a scary time to be a parent. It's a scary time to be an individual. Um, and when I try to imagine what kind of climate disasters my kids will inherit, um, I think that it's my job, not just as a, as a dad, but as a citizen, to be part of the solution for ensuring that the world is safe and viable for the next generation. I don't want to get too um, mean-spirited in my campaigning. I'm trying to be positive, but at the same time, I have to recognize the fact that for the past six years, um, the Liberals um, on this issue and other issues, they're, they've been very good at talking. They've been very good at showing their feelings and showing what they care about, but they're less effective at acting and climate change and climate action is absolutely one of those areas. The Green Party will also run Gordon Kubinak as their candidate in Nepean. Kubinak is no stranger to green politics, with this being his sixth election. Since 2007, the children's book author has run both provincially and federally in the neighboring riding of Carleton. He is now putting his hand in the race again with a key focus on climate change. Now all candidates have been out in the riding, busy campaigning with just a few weeks left before election day. Now Conservative Party leader Aaron O'Toole did make a campaign stop in Barhaven early in the election to promote the party's affordable housing strategy. Charlie C. News, Ottawa.